going strong with our walking 30 minutes at least every day challenge. Lauren, this is supposed to be a 23 point day. What are you doing? DIY one of my favorite coffee shop breakfasts with my free coffee. And this whole lunch is gonna be zero points on the WW plan. Sweet and salty vibe, a pinch of coarse sea salt. If you're wondering how I cook so much with this little stinker, I endure a lot of cleanup afterwards. I went back for a third. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new what I eat in a day on the WW plan to share with you all. This is gonna be a part of my series where I share a 23 point day, full day of eating on the Weight Watchers plan 2023. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm Lauren. I lost 80 pounds using the WW blue plan. Since then I had my second baby. There's oh, a little foot, that's Nora. So I am back on the WW plan postpartum, working my way back to that low that I got to at WW, as well as seeing if I can continue on and reach some of my weight loss and health goals. On my channel, I love sharing what I eat in a day's lifestyle vlogs, meal preps, and grocery hauls. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos coming up. This morning, I actually just finished wrapping my older daughter, Lila, off at kindergarten. It is a very bright and early morning. If you can tell by the sun, it is just now like 740. They start school so early down here in Georgia. I It blows my mind. But we are up for the day. I haven't eaten anything yet. I have drank some water this morning. But for a fun morning treat, I actually came across an ad for the Duncan app sharing how that you can use um, a promo code of bananas, I'll put it down here, in the Dunkin' app and get a free iced coffee. And I hadn't yet downloaded the Dunkin' app. This is not sponsored, by the way. I'm just trying to be a mom who treats herself to coffee on occasion, but always looking for a good deal. So anyway, I did download... Oh yeah? So I downloaded the Dunkin' app yesterday. I applied the promo code. They also had a ton of other offers going on for the month of August. This promo code I believe is good through the 16th of August. So I think it should be good still for a few days after this video goes up. But they had tons of other deals for free iced coffees or blended iced coffees with a purchase that went all the way through the end of the month. So Dunkin's got some great deals going on. This morning I did a pickup order through the app. So I am just parked outside of Duncan now. I should just be able to go through the drive through and pick it right up. It was $0. It truly came out to $0 in the app. And then normally at Duncan when I'm doing a treat day, one of my favorite things to eat is a wake up wrap. Their turkey sausage wake up wrap is really, really good. But I actually picked up a few things for breakfast this week that I'm excited to go home and eat. So I'm going to go home and make breakfast for Nora and I when we get back to the house. <sighs> Are you eating breakfast? Yum. Millie's hoping you drop some. Millie, that's not for you. I am back from my Dunkin' run with my free coffee. I did get a large, which this is a lot of coffee. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it all um, because you could get any size for the free promotion. Bless you. Oh, God bless you. Nora's eating breakfast. I ended up getting a large iced coffee. The cold brews and nitro cold brews didn't count for the iced coffee promotion. So I just have plain iced coffee. I did almond milk in it and one swirl of the butter pecan flavoring. This is definitely lightly sweet. If you wanted it sweeter, you could add some Splenda to sweeten it up without adding extra points. It's about three points for one pump of the swirl at Dunkin'. So I'm calculating this at four points for today, one point for the almond milk, three points for the swirl of butter pecan I added. I did not grab anything to eat at Dunkin' because we had some things to kind of DIY one of my favorite coffee shop breakfasts at home today. So I don't know if you guys saw Nora already, oh, before she, she almost threw hers to the dog. I picked up some all butter croissants at Walmart the other day and I've been making ham and cheese toasted croissants at home. That is like my favorite breakfast item to get at Starbucks if we do coffee and breakfast there. These Walmart croissants come in at seven points each on the WW plan, but I find them to be a good size. They're not too big and they actually are pretty tasty, especially when you pop them in the air fryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slice this right in half. I'm using one thin slice 
of deli ham. And then this would be really good with Swiss cheese, but I ran out of my Sargento ultra thin slices of Swiss, which is how I enjoy Swiss, but keep the points down. So I just have this brick of part skim mozzarella cheese, and I'm just going to slice off a couple very thin slices to add to my croissant, just so we have a little bit of melty cheese on there. And I'm gonna weigh this out on my kitchen scale to make sure I have an accurate point reading on the cheese. Oh, I love cheese. Add our little cheese onto our croissant sandwich. And then finally, for one last boost of flavor, but for zero points, a little bit of Dijon mustard on top. into our air fryer just for like a couple minutes. This isn't preheated or set at a specific heat or anything. I just kind of let it preheat to that standard 400 that it automatically goes to. I'm just gonna leave it in for like a minute just to lightly toast it, not really air fry cook it at all. And there you go, my little coffee shop breakfast, my free coffee for four points. This croissant sandwich um, with ham and a little bit of mozzarella cheese does come in at 10 points on the WW plan. I know that's kind of a hefty amount of points just for breakfast to spend 14 points. You're like, Lauren, this is supposed to be a 23 point day. What are you doing? Spending 14 points on breakfast and coffee. But you know what, sometimes you just have to indulge in those things that you really want still. That's how I've kept going on the WW plan over and over, is I can still enjoy the things I love, which include going out for coffee or having a fun coffee house kind of breakfast once in a while. And also, I prefer to spend a lot more of my points during breakfast and lunch kind of time of the day, because I know that I can eat lower point at night, at dinner time, and not have a ton of points left over at nighttime for snacking always is in my benefit because if I have a bunch of points left over at the end of the night, I'm gonna make poorer choices on nighttime snacks and desserts. Also, thanks to my weekly meal plan, I already know what's on the menu for dinner tonight and it is one of my WW staple recipes that I have gone back to time and time again. So I already know how many points I'm spending on dinner and I know how I can budget my points the rest of the day, even with the splurge of a breakfast. On our morning walk. Going strong with our walking 30 minutes at least every day challenge so far. I believe we're on day seven or eight today. I have to go back and check my footage. I've been vlogging along that challenge and that's gonna come out as one full video, kind of a before, after results, um, check-ins along the way and how we did. So we're doing good though. Um, and it's been really nice to add into our routine, just getting outside every single morning. Just before we, did get out on our walk, I went ahead and popped some chicken breast with chicken stock and some taco seasoning in the crock pot. Tonight I'm making one of probably my most searched recipes that I've shared here on YouTube um, and on Instagram, which is my white chicken enchiladas. One of our favorites, they were a staple like at least every other week when I first started on WW and we still like to have them now and then. So that's what's on the plan for dinner tonight. With our 14 point breakfast logged and knowing what our dinner is going to be, I am looking for a pretty low point lunch, like as in zero points. I'm looking to do a zero point lunch today, but that's okay because there are tons of zero point options on the WW plan. So for us today, we're gonna be making some oven style sous vide egg bites. I guess kind of continuing on our theme of coffee house food. These are gonna be just like the Starbucks egg bites but I'm mixing it up with my own fillings. The base is made from blended eggs and non-fat cottage cheese. I added a salt, pepper, garlic blend to season them, along with a hint of Dijon mustard. And then in a greased muffin tin, pour in the mixture until they reach about halfway up in each of the cups. Preheat your oven to 300 degrees and set a pan of water inside. This is what's going to give us that steamed egg texture that we're looking for in our egg bites. My add-ins today are gonna be some sauteed broccoli and mushrooms, 
These go right into the egg mix in a muffin tin. And then the key to making the best texture egg bites in the oven is to bake them at a lower heat of 300 degrees for about 30 minutes and also to include a pan of water in the oven so it adds steam to imitate that sous vide cooking style right in your oven at home. I'll go ahead and list out the full recipe and instructions in the description box below. And if you're wondering how I cook so much with this little stinker, I endure a lot of cleanup afterwards. Been playing blocks, watching some Elmo, and walking under my feet the whole time. Time for a little taste test. I have made egg bites before, but I feel like the oven bake texture always was so much different than like when I've gotten them at a restaurant like Starbucks or something. These, this is the first time I'm trying this at home sous vide method in the oven where you use the water to steam them. And look at how just soft and pillowy they are on the inside and they're not all brown and crunchy. They smell really good. That cooking method makes a huge difference. That and using the cottage cheese blended up. I like it when it's not blended too, but I don't mind that texture. If you're a texture person and don't want like the little bumps of cottage cheese in there after it's baked, definitely blend it. But it makes it so creamy and then using that steam method really helps just to make them soft and pillowy inside. They don't get all dried out. But yeah, that's really delicious. I have a big old side of cherries, sweet red cherries on the side. And this whole lunch is gonna be zero points on the WW plan. Um, I already fed Nora and she's down for a nap now. It's pretty early. It's just after 11 o'clock. With our early mornings with school, everything in our day is a lot earlier. So lunch at 11 a.m. And I have plenty left over for a little bit of meal prep this week. I went back for a third. Having a quick little snack before I have to go pick up Lila from school. I have half of a sweet potato. I cooked this in the microwave and it was so easy. If you've never cooked sweet potatoes in the microwave before when you're like in a pinch and need them done quickly, you just put them in like a covered dish. I used like a glass dish with a cover on it. I poked some holes in the sweet potato after I washed it and I microwaved it for three minutes, took it out, flipped it over, popped it back in the covered dish in the microwave for an additional two to three minutes. Be careful, it's very, very hot when it first comes out. And it was like perfectly ready to cut and kind of like smash up a little bit. So I am having half of a sweet potato. I'm going to do half of a tablespoon of brown sugar, a healthy shake of cinnamon, and because I like that sweet and salty vibe, a pinch of coarse sea salt. There you go. This is a two point snack guys. A little sweet but filling snack. Hey guys, okay, it's been a busy afternoon. We went and picked up Lila from school. We went straight to the library to return some books and play for a bit and ma, 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 that's Nora. We are officially getting into the crazy time of night and it gets really loud here. So I am starting to make dinner though, those chicken enchiladas. I've shared this recipe a number of times before on my channel. It's very loud here at this time of day all the way until bedtime so let's make some dinner and I'll share it with you guys when it's done.
hear what people say, people say, people say. I'm going crazy for you, baby. Don't know how you're making me feel this way. What can I say? That's what I like about you. These enchiladas are definitely one of our all-time dinner staples and a favorite, and the best thing is, the kids love them too. Yum. Are they so good? Lila loves enchiladas. She has liked these since she was like two years old. It was like the first time I made them, and Nora, right off the bat. We love our cheesy enchiladas. Mama? Yeah, you have more still. More, 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 more. So it's a lot later, um, Josh and I are hanging out and now I'm sitting down editing this video so I can get it up for y'all tomorrow. But as a last cap on the night, I'm having a nice fresh bowl of watermelon for zero points on the WW plan. Is there anything better than like a fresh sweet bowl of watermelon during the summer? This one was so good. I'm happily eating this as a snack dessert tonight. But that does it for what I eat in a day, 23 points on the WW plan. And I made my goal, 23 out of 23 points. I didn't dip into any extra points or weeklies. I was able to find a way to balance the rest of my day after kind of a point heavy coffee breakfast. I am feeling tired tonight. I know the kids are getting used to their new routine as we settle into the school year with Lila, but this mama is also still getting used to this new very early morning start routine. So I need to finish this up and get myself to bed so we can start all over again tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed my 23 point day video on WW. I have made an entire playlist of what I eat in a day, only 23 points on the WW plan. So check out those videos if you're looking for more low point meal and snack inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe so don't miss out on my next video and until next time, bye. bye.